In this video I'm showing you a technique to make a sliding knot bracelet for when you want to put something into the center of it. So it's got two sliding knots at the back here and then on the front part we've got our detail or whatever you're putting onto the bracelet. It just needs to have a hole or a bale on each side so that you can attach your threads one coming off each side. I've got this little wire wrapped star from one of my other videos, but you could use a shell or crystals, beads, as long as it's got those two holes or a bale on each end. For our sliding knot bracelet today, we're using one millimeter waxed twine and we need two lengths of 16 inches. So I just measure them both out and cut them to length. And then we're going to place one on each side of our center detail. So just threading it onto the first side and then we want to find the middle. So we just place the ends together and follow it back down to the centre there. Then holding it nice and tight we can bring it around to do a nice little overhand knot which is just bringing it around my finger and then pulling the tails through. Pull that nice and tight and then we're going to follow our threads up to the other end and tie an overhand knot up here as well. Around our finger and then bringing those tails through. Pulling that knot nice and tight and then we can place our second thread through the hole on the other side. Again placing those ends together and following it back down to the middle and tying an overhand knot down there as well. Pulling it nice and tight to match up with the first side. And then following it down to this other end and we can tie a knot on this end as well. Pull your knot nice and tight and then you should have something that looks like this with your detailed part in the middle and a strap on each side. So we're going to lay it down on a table in a U shape with the tails pointing upwards. Now with each tail we're going to bend it around and tie a little knot on each side. So bringing each tail around itself and then up the loop on the inside. So it's just another overhand knot. So we've got two little knots here, don't pull them super tight just yet. You want these knots here about the same distance away from the end if you can. Then we can pick our bracelet up and we're going to poke each tail down the opposite knot. So the right hand tail goes down the left hand knot and the left hand tail goes down the right hand knot. Then you can pull it all tight. My twine is a little bit stiff just while it's new. But now you should have a really nice simple sliding knot that you can pull apart and then pull it back together with your two ends there. So there's your simple sliding knot bracelet with the center detail.